So, I saw that coming. I think I got an ESC that gave out on me. Previous battery, I saw a little glitch. I knew it was coming. I gotta replace them anyway. Put in some 32 amps, I guess. I didn't even bend a prop. Bizarre landing. I don't know. Sooner or later, my luck's gonna run on damage, but no damage. Hey, love to rip here. This is an interesting day. So, just started to record with uh, this GoPro. That camera card is giving me an error. I'm never gonna buy those again, honest to God. Lexar, I think I've gone through two of them. Anyway, I just dumped my Stingy. Here it is here. Uh, I, there's, I didn't even bend a prop. I think it might have just landed right on the case. Um, Cops are fine. I know it's an ESC because I saw it twitch out there on my first pack. So I'll have to take a look at which ESC, but I'm probably just going to change them out with a 32 amp kiss anyway. These are old 24s. I've been flying them for over a year, I guess. Anyway, that's the update on the Stingy. I really love the way it handles though. It's, I think it's my favorite quad in terms of tuning, so I've got to work on this reverb. So we're going to use a reverb now. We'll go for a couple of rips. Just an update on the stingy that uh, I took a crash with there earlier on. My suspicion was an ESC, so I'm just going to plug it in. Check the polarity right. I can see lights on the ESCs on all of them except that guy. Just turn up the motors. Yep. Suspicion confirmed. Dead ESC. I don't know if you can see that there, but... Uh, it looks like a little heat bubble on the electrical tape, so probably just burnt out. Anyway, I will replace these, I think all of them, and I'm going to change out my motors and put on the uh, hyper trains that I picked up a little while ago, sitting in my closet. And then I'll keep these 24 amp as spares. I think my alien's still on the 24 amp, so I'll keep the three that remain working in, in stock. Thanks.